everyone, this is Professor Burgess and I am going to show you real quick how to access Blackboard Collaborate in your course so you can access the uh, lectures from your instructors. I am doing this for my students, but I believe some other faculty may be using this for their, their students as well. So I'm just going to show you the general way to access Blackboard Collaborate so you can gain access to your faculty or your instructors um, your instructor's lectures if they have been recorded. If your instructor is not recording the lectures, you need to make sure that you attend your course during your regular scheduled class time. This means that your instructor is delivering the course content uh, online as opposed to in class, but that will be occurring during your regular class time. So you want to, uh, whatever class it is that you are taking for this, this will be for my micro students. So I'm going to enter my micro classroom and in here, I am going to select the communication tool up here at the top. Select communication. And you can scroll down and select Blackboard Collaborate. This will take you to the Blackboard window. Some faculty have created a Blackboard file in their content. And you can see here, I have done this for my micro students. So they can go to Blackboard Collaborate there and um, they can just click on the same link. It will take you to the same place. If you're not sure if your instructor has given you that particular, uh, that particular module in the content, your best bet is to just go through the communication tool. So click on communication, Blackboard Collaborate, and it will open you up to the Collaborate room. Now I have created a, uh, just kind of a, um, a quick, uh, a sample course right here, uh, but my micro students will have links to their lectures. So when you want to enter the room, you just click on the link and you click join session. Once you are in here, uh, it's going to ask you, I've already signed in, so it's not going to ask me, but it's going to ask you if you want to use your microphone and your camera. If you have access to either or both of those, you want to say yes. Your instructor may ask you to answer questions or to take part in something that you're going to need either a microphone or camera for. If they do that, you want to be able to use it. So you want to allow access to it. That doesn't necessarily mean that you will have to use it. When you enter into the room, you are always muted. You can see here this, um, these buttons down at the bottom. Uh, of course, this is your status, you are in the room. This button here is whether you're going to share your microphone or not. So if you're going to speak in the room, this has to be turned on. If you want to share video, you can uh, release the video. It's going to ask for permission. Hi, everybody. How are you? Uh, you can share your video. And then that way, um, over in the corner, the instructor will be able to see your video. For the sake of bandwidth and keeping the network working well, my suggestion is that for now, you keep the video turned off. If your instructor wants you to use it, then uh, they'll tell you to turn it on. But it will make your experience a lot better. We're, we have a lot of people using Blackboard all at the same time. So it may be uh, a better experience for you if for now you keep your video off unless asked otherwise. Last but not least over here is the raise hand tool. If you have a question, um, say your instructor has asked you to turn your microphone off because we get a lot of background noise when we are, um, when we are trying to provide lectures. So we will oftentimes mute everyone. So if you have a question, you just raise your hand, you click this. Your hand is raised. You can click it again to lower it if you don't want to ask the question anymore, but you just click your hand right here and the instructor will get a little pop-up window that says that you have an, a question and this will, this will tell them that they need to stop the lecture and answer your question. In addition to that, you're not gonna see all of the things I have here, but you will see the chat room. So that purple tab on the right, you just want to click on those three little lines and that will open up the chat window for you. And in the chat, it will be with everyone. Right now, there's no one else in here. Down here at the bottom, you simply um, type in uh, your question. Hit enter and your question will uh, pop up at the top. Uh, anytime that someone posts something into the chat room, 
a pop-up window will show up for the instructor and the instructor will be able will know that you have something written in the chat if you're not sure you can just simply raise your hand um, and then the instructor will call on you from there your instructor once in blackboard will give you additional instructions in terms of turning on and off video or how to um, answer questions in writing how to use different tools in Blackboard. I will leave that up to the uh, individual instructors themselves so they can decide what tools they want you to use and which they don't. But this was just a quick tutorial on how to gain access to your Blackboard uh, lecture with your, with your instructor. Make sure that you always access the classroom uh, through the D2L shell for that class. So that way you're meeting with the instructor in the correct room. And if you have any other questions, you should email your instructor. Um, it will be very helpful for, them, for you to talk with them directly because they know what they will be expecting of you in that particular class. So I hope you guys have a, have a great online lecture. I know that it, this is a very stressful time and um, everything is kind of up in the air. Please be assured that everybody at Broward is working as hard as we possibly can to make sure that we give you a great experience, that you get the education that you have come here to get, and that we can make sure that you're ready for your next level of courses. We will get through all of this. We just need to kind of hunker down and work together. So have a great day, guys. Um, if you need anything, feel free to send me an email.